what happens in agile approach as agile is incremental and iterative software development uh, we don't do anything big bang we take a particular feature let's say feature a so how do we select feature a is feature a is selected based on the business value it adds to the customer example if you take an ATM software uh, we have different uh, functionalities like one is withdrawing cash we have other supporting functionalities like withdrawing the, the transferring the funds uh, ordering the checkbook things like that so but if if I ask anyone or if I ask you if from the business point of view which is the most important feature which is needed right now anybody would say that withdrawing cash is a feature that is needed from the from the business point of view so we select a feature such a way that which has got highest business value to the customer which is needed right now without which the business cannot run so we we ask the customer what is the feature can you tell which feature you would need uh, from the business point of view which would add value so we take that feature and we will not think about other features in detail that doesn't mean that we are not aware of other features we will have we will be aware of uh, other features but we will not get into the details of other feature right now the focus is only on feature a so we understand the feature gather what is feature a is supposed to do design develop the feature make the feature a working test it and show show it to the customer get the feedback from the customer whether the working feature A is really working as per his expectations. So after the feature A, working feature A is shown to the customer, then only we go to the next feature. We take the feedback for the feature A and uh, uh, if customer says go ahead, we will go ahead to the next feature or sometimes customer may accept with certain open issues. So after the customer feedback is uh, taken then the exit point for feature A after the customer feedback we start the feature B so in feature B again the same thing the same cycle we design the feature A and understand feature A design develop make the feature A working and uh, show it to the customer so like that uh, feature by feature we take based on the order of importance so feature B is the next order of importance compared to this feature here. So this order of importance, the priority of the features with from the business point of view has to be provided by the customer and based on the customer's uh, priority we develop those features. And there will be a single team which does all the activities of uh, requirements designing development and testing there won't be a separate row uh, groups like the development teams testing teams development groups testing groups QA groups not like that so ev everybody is focused towards the team goal and everybody's focus is to make the feature feature working feature and show it to the customer in a great time so what are the benefits of this approach we are, since we are able to deliver the feature a much earlier or, and we are showing the working feature the risks involved in that particular feature is mitigated in much early and visibility of the that activity the progress of the software development progress of uh, the way in which the team is going is visible much much early rather than showing in the end because of early feedback and user engagement the adaptation to the uh, feedback from the customer and to meet the needs of the various stakeholders various stakeholders is much much better and the complexity suppose you take all the features and start implementing uh, in the implementation phase the complexity gets higher the complexity becomes bigger so by breaking the complexity into smaller complexity we are reducing the complexity when we are showing the working feature 
as and when it is developed. Then learning. As and when each feature is developed and shown to the customer, the team can take a reflect upon how they did their work. Did they fall, face any pitfalls? What are the things that did not go well? What did not? What are things that went well? So what are the things that have to be tried and improved in the next up approach? So that way learning is much, much uh, faster and it is done at every iterations when the features are shown to the customer. So that's the main difference between the agile approach and traditional approach. So going to the next slide. So this slide talks about different agile methodologies that 